Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor of Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Millipol, India, Prag Pragati Medan in New Delhi. It's the first show, Millipol in India, and we have with us a brand and a name which has been in India for nearly a century, the Arvind Mills. But here it is in a different capacity, in a new avatar, and uh, it's the home protection business. We have with us here the DGM for marketing, Mr. Praveen Kora, who's here going to tell us all about how such a traditional company has got into a thing like defense, armoring and defense clothing, which is just a most wonderful part of business with Make in India on the move in India. Welcome Praveen ji to ADU's chat room. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be here at Millipol? And we are seeing uh, Arvind for the first time in this capacity. Do let us know how the transition from traditional cloth to this sort of business. So, uh, as we were already into all sort of fashion business, starting from denim, then regular shirting business and knits in place, then as a part of not exactly diversification, just extending the arm, we have entered into this business called human protection, which is basically uh, based on the material science, like we do uh, sustainable innovations which helps human protection as such from various hazards, uh, maybe uh, a, a fire situation, uh, nuclear bio situation, and then maybe high altitude. So uh, when we cater to defense segment here, so we look at uh, the whole whole scenario in two two ways. Like one is that uniforms. Uniforms is a very regular, like we are masters in camo prints, we have latest machines available with us and they are providing solutions to all uh, Indian Army, uh, paramilitary forces like NDRF and NSG and working with certain group to develop and modernize their products. The other segment that we cater to is the specialized product groups. In the specialized product group, we cater to uh, uh, hazardous situations like maybe high altitude where temperature goes sub zero up to minus 50 degrees. There we have a solution. Then we have nuclear biohazards in kind of situation where uh, our, our forces or the deployment need safety against the nuclear uh, weapon use. So we have a nuclear uh, bio suit. We have Generation 5 is currently available with us. Generation 6 we are working and developing in, uh, in collaboration with DRDO for that. Other than that, we have uh, specialized products like uh, sleeping bags are there. Then we are getting into uh, setting a facility for rucksack bags in the coming future. So that we could, you know, uh, make use of say cross-selling, same buyer and giving them different solutions. We always tend to be an end-to-end -end, uh, solution for the buyer who trusts us. And like but that's that. wonderful actually. And how many of the forces uh, world over have you approached? And are you already supplying to many outside India? Is there an export market you have envisaged? Yeah, actually, what happens here is mostly if we, if we talk about military supplies of any of the country, any of the developed or of a nation of a size of India, the armed forces, uh, uniforms and all are not outsourced. Mainly done in this, but still, we are doing uh, some supplies to Middle East countries where like uh, army units are small and we are doing that. And other than that, within India, we are doing both Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Home Affairs. We are uh, the one among the top three suppliers to Indian Army's latest combat print uh, uniform that we are doing. We are further developing some more products with them. We are in multiple usages in different situations. Indian Navy, we are in Taya with. We are doing some. Uh, we have developed a new white uh, fabric for them, the ceremonial uniform. So, so many. I mean, I don't know if it is okay to discuss the products in pipeline, but yeah, we are into Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Home Affairs both. Right, wonderful. And uh, is there a difference in creating uniform for men in the forces and women in the forces? Yeah, it is. Uh, early, there are two models they work, the armed forces work. One is that they take fabric from us, then they have their, you know, uh, fabrication units, the garmenting units, they have their own tailor at different battalions. So they do made to wear kind of stuff. But yeah, as it comes to us, we provide both the solutions because uh, uh, human ergonomics has to be 
address to in the situation like if a female is using like what sort of challenges are there what can be done extra so human ergonomics is one more thing that we pay a lot of attention when that you know it can increase our uh, efficiency by up to 20 percent when we have the right kind of clothing on it right and uh, at the moment we also say this homeland uh, security is a major yeah. buyer ministry of home affairs yeah. so do all the paramilitary and police forces uh, are they all your clients i mean many of them are they your clients uh, yeah many of them are our clients like uh, we have been successfully supplied and supplying to forces paramilitary forces of ministry of home affairs like ndrf we have done it for nsg we have done for on the development part for some others like BSF and then we are doing a uh, whole lot of modernization of the product. How we uh, product for say ITPP also we are now and uh, SSB is another of them. So what happens is like uh, we, we try and get into business with the credits of the business like credits of our product. So what happens is like rather than copying the product we always try and innovate add some value add some functionality which is actually giving some comfort and more safety to the that that is the dna for arvind so those are the those are the ideas and innovations is bringing us uh, more uh, close to the force needs right and so praveen ji i'm sure when we meet the next time you'll have more to tell us about your yeah. foray into the defense and homeland security market sure. thank you so much for speaking with us it was great and great to know that such a good brand old century old brand getting into all modern technology which was uh, you know now state of the art thank you so much thank you so much